Hello, this is Lady Ninja, and today we're going to 3D model um, this little guy right here. The program I'm using is Hexagon 2.5, and right now it's free for a limited time at dash3d.com. I'll provide a link in the description. You get three programs, um, Bryce, Bryce 7, I think, um, Dot Studio, and this program. And I've noticed the updated version has um, this right here. If you notice from my old videos on my old channel, you don't see this. Alright, and this program is very unpredictable on my um, computer. It, it tends to crash, so I need to save. So, if we notice this little guy, he's very bubbly and he's mostly circles, so <laughs> let's see how that goes. We start with a sphere press shift to make the circle in the middle then we press enter the va um, to validate the circle we raise that up a little bit right here you um, this is the pan mode where we go up and down you press and hold and right here this is the rotate mode where you rotate the camera you press and hold to move the camera around and then you let it go um, this is the smoothing tool. If you want to check how your character looks when it's smooth, I always keep it at two because it becomes very unpredictable um, around here. And if you're working with faces, it's best to work at the X with work work with X symmetry. Y symmetry works with the side, and Z symmetry works with the the bottom. Like if you're working with the top like for it works with the the same thing in the bottom as long as the the object your your modeling is um has the same um, exact number of sides and and faces on the opposite side so all right so now we're going to save that's a previous one that crashed so I'm reusing it so we all know um, this right here is the I have all three here you I use the universal because it's better you can use um, the arrow keys to move the the object you created from side to side like up and down on the y-axis side on, on the X axis and front and back on the Z axis and right here you can scale on the X axis and here too and again um, like so or you can scale the whole thing from the middle So it's best to have um, a universe, the universal on. And right here you rotate. Sometimes you have to turn around and see the, the lines. If you want to work individually, if you work best individually, then um, you can use those. But I, I suggest you use the universal one because it has all three. So. Now this little guy, he has a little bubbly body in the bottom if you notice. So um, hopefully here we grab L, we loop it, press L to loop, and then we delete. Oops, that's too much. All right. Let's see if we can delete the bottom. We press L to loop and it seems like it won't do it. So let's turn symmetry off. And then click shift and hold it so we can select the faces that we want to pick. And they all stay selected. And then now we should be able to delete and it gives us a perfect circle in the bottom. Okay. 
So now we click on the edge and we press loop and it should pick up the surrounding areas. And then we press control to extrude um, more edges and faces. And the program crashed. Thank you, program. All right, last time the program crashed. Now let's do this all over again. Hopefully it won't give us any problems. So now we press control and then we press down and extrude. Oh, hold on. Let's turn the symmetry off and hopefully it won't give us uh, exactly, it won't give us the it will give us that problem when um, it splits in the middle. Sometimes symmetry can do that. So now we keep pulling down. All right, I think this will be the arm area. We can push that up. This will be like the little egg leg area. So now we use the scale tool and make it smaller in the bottom. And to close that gap, we click on vertex modeling and we press close. So any openings that um, are open, it'll close all as you can see there. So we validate that. All right. Right now he doesn't look much of nothing, but <laughs> if we keep on working on him, he'll come to. Hold on, let me make sure I'm recording. Yes, I am. Alright, this is his neck area, so we loop that and we push it closer. Alright, this should look okay. I totally forgot how to put um, a reference picture in there, but it's okay for now. I'm going to constantly save, so <laughs> I don't trust this program. So, um, I want to make the arms, um, I want to make like an extra line here. So what we're going to do is um, use the edge tool or press E and then you can extract the lines um, hold on you can extract along and you can see where you're gonna um, create another line as you can see it created another line right there for me so I think this is the area where the the arms are gonna be let's push that a little forward like that it gives them a little neck make his body a little bit round and hopefully um, this matches the other side so we're gonna turn symmetry on and hopefully this side works with this side so we're going to create the uh, little hands here alright we're gonna press shift and then we're gonna press um, control and extrude all right and those are his little arms <laughs> very cute little arms I think we can extrude a little bit more and we can make that smaller like that that looks cute all right okay and then the feet Hold on, the feet should be right here, like around here. Then let's save again. Now I'm going to press control and pull out the feet. Okay. <laughs> For now they look like two stumps, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, what we're going to do is grab the bottom leg and rotate them up a little bit All right, 
and then hopefully push this in a little bit. Since I can't see one on that side, I'll do this side. There we go. Feet pushed in. My daughter's also learning um, 3D modeling. She wants to learn 3D modeling. She's like 10 years old, so I was like, you know what? Just start early like that. You can come become way better than me because I'm still amateur. I'm still learning how to do this. So let me see if we can put the pointy toes up. There we go. There's his toes. Cute little toes. Sometimes I like to stay quiet because that's when I concentrate the most. So if I stay quiet, I'm sorry. Loop works with faces, um, points, and edges. To loop, you always press um, L. We'll fix his flat little butt later. Let me see how he looks. All right, for now he looks okay. We can round out his body a little bit right here. Push the point from here. There. Move my rotten little body right here. I don't want to give him a flat ass, but here. Hold on. I gotta make sure I save because I keep forgetting this program is is very mean to me. his butt a little wider. And we can also make him a little pudgier from back here. There we go. Give his body a little bit more roundness. I don't want him to look all flat. <laughs> there we go. And remember, the good thing about symmetry is that um, you can work on one side and it works well on the other side. Also, if um, for whatever reason you need to break the character in half to fix one side, if one side is not going in symmetry with the other one, you can always cut the character in half and then um, use the symmetry tool on, and then... Um, always put on um, positive X and it'll make an exact copy of this side to this side and then you can weld it together right here with this so right now everything's going well and I don't need to do that but um, I know in the future something's gonna happen that I'm gonna have to use that so right now I'm just working out the little body alright he looks good for now Let's save that. 